It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Black Sea. Picture of a, what looks like a black tiger. There's the label. Craft Belgian Stout. 8% ABV. 55 IBUs. Here you go. Uh, there's the bottle cap. There's a description on the label, on the back of the label here, which I'll read in a moment. But there's not too much. All, in terms of, I, I, I like to know who the brewery is. But all they put here is Brasserie C in brackets. Take a look. I'm just wondering who these people are. There you go. Right where my finger is. Brasserie C. That's the only description. The, who calls themselves Brewery C? Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. C on the bottle cap. Black C on the label. All a bit odd. Let's get the beer out. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Yo. Have a look at the liquid in the neck of the bottle being poured out. It looks very light. It looks like a mild, an imperial mild. If you're not from the UK and you don't know what a mild is, a mild is like... You tripped over on the bottle cap. A mild is something very light. It's dark, but you can see the light bleeding through the glass. Have a look at this. You can see the light. Look at that. This is an 8% ABV craft stout with a lot of light bleeding through the glass, which means it's very thin, very big, uh, lots of thinness coming through. It's not going to be viscous. After reviewing 5,200 beers, I know for a very fact here, without even sipping the beer, without, without even putting my nose to the beer, that it's not going to be lovely and rich and bold and fat and engine oil like. It's going to be something else. Thinner, lighter, milder. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersreviewed.co.uk, for sponsoring today's video. Check out in the link in the description box of this video. They sell beers all over the world for beersofuda.co.uk. They sell beers in the UK from breweries all over the world. That's what I should say. You have to be in the, in the UK to order. Description box, check them out. Uh, one finger white-ish head. Again, that's another, another sign that the beer is not really, as they mentioned, a craft Belgian stout. If this was a craft Belgian stout, it would have a tan colored head. Trust me on this, honestly, trust me. Please trust me. Um, it wouldn't have as much carbonation that it has rolling up the side of the glass and really it wouldn't be so light there would be no light rushing through the glass. Let's see that amber colored light there at the bottom of the glass. That really won't be throwing, shining through. I've been a bit brutal up until now, but I've been in the industry a long time. And I know, I know when I'm having the wool pulled over my eyes. Let's dive in, aroma. The aroma is not too bad. Nutty, chocolatey, biscuity, 
chocolate coffee caramel. Things are sounding great with the aroma. But it's the all important taste that counts. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, this is me turning about face and admitting that all of my knowledge on beer has been blown away. You guys have drunk as much beer that, that I've drunk. Honestly, if you're watching this video right now, if you've been following the channel for years, you've been drinking as much beer as, as, as I've had. And when you pour an Imperial Stout at 8% ABV, you normally, normally get a tan colored head. Look at the head. It's more or less white. You normally get a big, thick, bold, thick, dark black engine oil stout in the glass. This is doing none of these things. The warning signs, the, the fact that, that they call themselves Brasserie C, um, Craft Belgian Bruce. What, what, I mean, who were these people? But, but apart from all that, the beer's actually pretty good pretty good it would be very easy for me at this stage to go it's not a tan colored head it's not thick and bold and fat i'm gonna completely poo poo this beer but i don't mind I, I, i'm an honest guy i'm a really i'm as honest as i can possibly be on this channel it's an about face it really is an about face it's me going it's okay. It's good. It's not as big and fat and bold as some of the other Russian Imperial Stouts or, or Imperial Stouts that I've had from, from around the world. It's not. But it's nutty. It's chewy. It's bready. It's biscuity. It's roasted, there's some coffee, some chocolate, some caramel, slightly thin. But, I mean, for the taste, for what you're getting, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Description. It's all in English as well, which you kind of go, hmm, okay. A Belgian beer normally has a lot of Belgian writing on it. Uh, the language, a lot of Belgian language, a lot of French language. This is English, so you're like, whoa, what's going on here? So, Craft Belgian Stout, strong and smooth at the same time. Black Sea offers roasted aromas of coffee and cocoa while revealing a balanced bitterness brought by North American hops. Black Sea takes its complexity and originality from its malted composition. The Belgian yeast gives to this stout a unique identity. There's the description. Give it a read. Pause the video right now. Give it a read. Very rare. Very, very, very rare that I'm wrong. Very rare that I'm wrong about a beer. I was absolutely certain this beer was going to be terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's turned out to be quite all right. Let's rate it. I'm 
I like that enough to give it a I think he said stone the crows. In fact, I'm gonna give it a stone the crows. It it it's 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 proved me completely wrong about looking at a beer and about smelling a beer. After all this time, as long as it tastes good, it is good. Stone the crows, eight out of ten. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Cheers.